Sometimes we have to create a document that has things that repeat within it. And sometimes we have to create that document, you know, multiple times. It could be like a, a lesson plan that I've got here. It could be a unit plan. It could be a module of work. All those kind of things that has things in it that repeat throughout the document. Normally what we do is we cut and paste or do replace, but we can actually use a smart chip variable to do that. So if you have a look in my document here, I've got a title of a document unit plan, the grade, the subject area, then I've got these you know, weekly events that we're gonna be doing. Wouldn't it be good if we could kind of automate this being filled out? Now we can by using a variable smart chip. Now what a variable smart chip does is it enables us to just replace one thing by filling in a variable. Now it sounds a bit strange, but let me show you how to do it. Down here, I've got a variable called grade. So wherever I add to a number in here, it'll be filled out throughout the document. So how do I create a variable and how do I add them into my document? So let's go to our unit plan here. Let me create a new variable. So I'm gonna go insert, I'm gonna come down to smart chips, come to variable, and I'm gonna insert a new one and I'm gonna just call it unit plan because that makes sense to me. And go create. Now it pops it into there, it looks pretty cool. Now what we can do is we can then add the others in here. Now I've already built a whole lot out and they are now living in here in my variable window. So if I want to add the subject to here, all I need is to put my cursor there, come down to where I've got the variable called subject, which is in here, and go insert. And I'll do the repeat for the duration. And you can see all I need to do is fill this out as I go through. Let me just finish this off. Now I have a bit in my document that has these little variables listed. So all I need to do is create like a template for my unit plan and then fill it in. So have a look down here. What I've done is I've got my unit plan sitting over here and instead of all those bits and pieces that I've entered in before, I've got these variables. So all I need to do now is come in here and put the variables where I need them to go. So let me insert the grade one to there. And now all we need to do is fill in in here what we need to be inside our unit plan. Let me show you how that works. So now that they're all filled in, wherever that variable exists in my document, it will now be replaced by fishing in the Antarctic. So let me come down and have a look. And now you can see in here, all I need to do is add my variable in there. And I've now got my unit plan, everything being built out for me as well. Now this probably isn't the best uh, kind of demonstration for it, but you can understand the power of this by having a, one place to be able to change your variables or change that function. Uh, <clears throat> now that we've filled in all our information, any time that this variable appears inside my document, it's now gonna say fishing in the Arctic rather than unit plan. So let's scroll down and have a look at what that looks like. Here's my pretend unit plan here. I've now got all my variables been added and all I need to do is fill that out. Now you can actually expand on this and make it more complex as you go through, but if you can imagine the time it would save once you've got your template built and being added one spot to enter in those values, these variable smart chips are absolutely amazing. Give it a shot, see how you go.